and Environment is a statewide, citizen-based, nonprofit environmental advocacy organization. We use grassroots organizing to translate public support into the political will it's going to take to pass and protect strong environmental policies. Some of our party campaigns right now include getting the lead out of drinking water, banning harmful single-use plastics like plastic bags and foam cups and takeout containers, protecting open spaces, opposing fracking and new petrochemical build-outs in Pennsylvania, and moving Pennsylvania to 100% renewable energy. As the Gulf Coast begins to recover from back-to-back -back hurricanes, we're taking a look at why this hurricane season has been so bad and how climate change factors into these monstrous storms. This year, the sea surface temperatures have been well above average, which is a big factor when it comes to hurricane strength. Tropical storms and hurricanes are fueled by the ocean. The warmer it is, the more fuel they have to grow bigger and stronger. That's in addition to a number of other atmospheric factors that are boosting hurricane activity this season. As for climate change, studies have shown that interestingly we could see a similar number or possibly even fewer named storms, but stronger and more intense storms when they do happen, which means more category 4 and 5 hurricanes. Hurricanes and tropical storms will also produce more rain under our change in climate, which means more severe flooding and, with sea level rise, more devastating storm surge. There's a lot of research still to do to get a full picture of what hurricanes could look like under our change in climate. But one thing is clear, we need to take bold climate action now. Did you know that fracked, aka natural gas, is as bad for our climate as other fossil fuels? The fracking industry and its lobbyists would lead you to believe that because it emits less carbon dioxide, it's good for our environment and climate. But that is just not true. Fracked gas is mostly made up of methane, and when methane leaks, it is actually 86 times worse for our climate than CO2 over a 20 year period and it leaks a lot at every stage of the process from extraction to processing, and even after wells are abandoned, methane is leaking. And it's leaking more than we previously thought. In fact, a recent EDF report showed that in 2017, PA's gas industry leaked seven times more methane than they reported. And that's before we even consider the grave threats that fracking poses to our health and our environment. So the bottom line is that fracking is a climate nightmare, wrongly disguised as a clean and natural solution. The only real solution is getting off of fossil fuels and moving to 100% clean renewable energy. One of the easiest ways to make your voice heard for climate action is by calling your elected official. After all, the job of your legislator is to listen to you, their constituent. So here are my six tips for calling your legislator. Tip one, always make sure to introduce yourself with your name and where you live in the district. Tip two, Share a personal reason why you're concerned about climate change. Stories are greater than stats. Tip three, always have a strong ask. For example, voting yes or no on a specific bill. Tip four, remember that it's okay to leave voicemails. So feel free to write down what you wanna say beforehand. Tip five, remember to say thank you and always be respectful. And lastly, tip six, after you make the call, get your friends and family to make a call too. Follow these tips to call your legislator and take bold action on climate change. Yeah. <laughs>